Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. You new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, we are going to look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody at this time. You definitely do have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So we'll see what kind of energy, oh, my cat's going cuckoo, we get for you at this time. So uh, welcome, hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody is staying safe during this time. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Male or female watching, doesn't really matter. Please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. If it's not making sense for you, it's not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit. can also be past, present, or future. All right, Aquarius. So let's see what's going on for you at this time in love. And if you like to watch past readings, uh, your... And here it comes again. Your general and love readings are in the description box below, as well as the pin top comment, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, lots of stuff down there, so please go check it out. All right, Aquarius and love at this time. Spirit, please, whoever Aquarius is thinking about. This is Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign element or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. What do we have for Aquarius, please? And love at this time. Let's take this one. We have Taurus. And I think you got this last time. Your last love reading or one of your past readings I just did for March. You got Taurus. So some of you definitely could be dealing with the Taurus. And Taurus does represent the Hierophant in the Major Arcana, which is about um, marriages, commitments, um, faith, spirituality, um, doing what's moral, just, and right, um, structure, institutional um, things such as the law, the government, and schooling, education, law enforcement, all that kind of energy. All right, so let's see for Aquarius. So the first thing I'm going to do here. Aquarius is <clears throat> pull a love energy between you and your person at this time for Aquarius. I'm pulling that one. Oh, we have the star, and that is Aquarius. Wow, that's your energy. 16, which is 7. 7 is being on the divinely guided right path. And we have the Six of Cups energy here, so you definitely could be with a soulmate here. Definitely could have had past lives together, someone you've known for a very long time or been with for a long time or somebody you've known since childhood or something like that. So we do have the stars here. So I just want to read the little uh, snippet here, stars. It's a cute little riddle, so I like to read from this book. Shiny sparkles, guidance, and healing is what I promise through a gentle feeling. I am reassurance, inspiration, and a new path for your exploration. Wish upon a star, for I bring hope and light from afar. So wishes and dreams coming true. Maybe a commitment with your person here. If they are a Taurus, if not, uh, we'll see. <clears throat> you could be getting wish fulfillment here, Aquarius. All right, so what I'm going to do now, Aquarius, is I am going to pull one for you, one for your person. How you're both feeling about each other and the connection. I'll put you, Aquarius, here, your person here. But if you feel any time during the reading, the roles need to be reversed, the energy switched, please feel free to do that. <clears throat> and also, your person could have Taurus in Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus also. So how is Aquarius feeling about their person of interest in this connection spirit, please? Thank you so much for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Like that one. And then how is Aquarius's person. Okay. Oh, I just saw a glimpse. Okay, let's see what you have, Aquarius. So you have the woman here, which is 29, which is 11. To me, is always have the twin flame number. It's also um, being on the right path, the right spiritual path of some kind here. And we do have the Ace of Spades there, the Ace of Swords. So that's a brand new beginning based on truth and clarity, success, victory, open, honest communication, and your person here is the man. So you almost almost have matching energy. This deck has 
a man card, a woman card, but there's two of each. And there's one where it shows a man showing his chest. And there's also another one with a woman who was fully clothed, which matches this man. So I feel like you're almost at a vibrational match with your person here. So 28, 29, wow, which is 57, which is 13, right? 5, 7 is 13. No, 12, which would be 3. So, wow, so they have the Ace of Cups, which is a brand new beginning in love, self-love or love, spiritual love, something like that. 8 and 2 is 10. We got 10, 11. 10 is about completions. One is always a new beginning. So I just want to read about the woman here uh, for your energy. You're like the waiting woman with the lady one. And we have the lady two, which this is the lady two. I could be you, the reader, or the female subject of your reading, or a female partner. So <coughs> not much really to say there. And then we have the man. I could be you or the reader or a male subject of your reading or a male partner of the significator. So, <coughs> sorry. No, I do not have the virus. So, <laughs> um, so I feel like, not that I know of anyway, um, I feel like you're passionately waiting for your person and your person is like very sincere. They want to give you a very sincere offer, relationship, love, or something like that. You may be more of a fiery, passionate kind of person though, but this is a divinely guided energy here between the two of you. Sorry, I was burning sage, and I think it's stuck in my throat. So on the bottom of the deck here, we do have the birds here, which is about um, news coming in. And we have 12, which is three, which is about reuniting, uh, coming together, working together. Seven of pentacle energy there is about investing and waiting, assessing, contemplating kind of energy, evaluating. So let's see. Um, number 12 is the birds. A phone call, a text, or a date. That is how I communicate. I am in meetings or interviews and I like to negotiate. I can be your sibling, lover, or mate. Couples is what I indicate. And we do almost have a matching couple here. We do in a way. I feel like one is a little, a little vibrational match is a little bit off, but it's almost there. So this news coming in could be, you know, if you're waiting for your person to offer out, you know, a date or something like that. I think they're getting ready here to offer love. Maybe they want to offer love and you just want passion. I, I don't know, but there's some kind of good news coming in here or a date or something like that. It's divinely guided energy with the stars, wish dream coming true, faith, hope, optimism kind of energy. So wish upon that star. All right, so let's clarify this energy for you, Aquarius. All right, so Aquarius, you have the lady feel that is patiently waiting, passionately, patiently waiting for her man, who is seems like very honest, sincere, loving kind of energy. <clears throat> not, I'm not saying that you're not, but. All right, so Aquarius, why is the lady in waiting here for Aquarius? Spirit, please, in this connection. Thank you so much for Aquarius, please. All right, feeling that one. And one more. One more. That one. All right, so we have the star. Oh, my God, I can't make this up. <laughs> The star in the two of cups. Wow. So, okay. So you want the two of cups also. And you're wishing and you're hoping. You're looking out this window. I feel like you're filled of love, filled with love and passion. This is your person is you wish your dream come true. And you're hoping and wishing for soulmate union here to becoming coming together in union. 
soulmate energy and your person definitely is <clears throat> got their rose in hand here and wait, waiting and wanting to offer their cup of love which is the ace of cups and you add that together the ace and the two you get the three of cups and we have three over here so all right so why let's see why your person is the man so we got the lady and the man here waiting on each other in the soulmate union this one one more for Aquarius's person how they're feeling about Aquarius and their connection at this time so we have the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles so there's the three so there's the three of pentacles of coming together reuniting working together collaborating we do have the nine of pentacles which is i feel like somebody here is single or you both could be single but somebody wants to come together here and they don't want to be single anymore i'm not really getting third party energy sometimes threes can indicate that but to me the three of pentacles is always about teamwork collaboration working together working on something together even though you see three people here maybe you know this person through work <clears throat> for some of you but i definitely feel the nine of pentacles are very stable independent kind of energy and the three of pentacles working together so have, whoever's been single and independent i feel like they want to work on something here and they really don't want to be single anymore and you aquarius see this person as your wish dream come true and you're wanting your soulmate union also because they do have the ace of cups over here and that man is holding a flower as an offer this is divinely guided energy between the two of you you could have had past heavily feel like you've had past lives together especially with the six of cups there all right so let's see what this actual connection is so we have the queen of cups so we have aquarius here so far and okay so we have the queen of cups here <clears throat> which can be <clears throat> my throat i'm so sorry which can be cancer it doesn't have to be <clears throat> so definitely somebody who has who feels and has love emotions feelings they're in, trusting their intuition a caring nurturing uh kind of energy and then we have the nine of cups which is again that kind of star energy like three times of wish fulfillment happiness and joy and fulfillment and wishes coming true so yep you have a lot of love for this person and you're wishing and you're hoping for this fulfillment of soulmate union and you have a lot of passion for them too i feel and i feel like your person doesn't want to be single anymore and they want to work on this with you getting ready to send out perhaps if you're waiting for them to send out um an offer i feel it may be coming that's the news coming in here they may, may have been waiting for a time there but we do have uh the five of wands here could talk about conflict or um competition inner conflict outer conflict competition and that's between the two of you so even though you're both in this energy you both have some sort of conflict between you so let's see what what else here for this actual situation I feel these two so we have the seven of wands and the king of swords so we got the five and the seven of wands so the seven of wands talks about uh, standing up and fighting for what you want defending what you want king of swords having truth and clarity here open honest communication cutting away things not serving telling it like it is not backing down so your person here there's been any conflict between the two of you or in a conflict between the two of you i feel like you were waiting on each other for a time here for some reason i, I don't know why but could be the inner conflict between the two of you of okay waiting maybe just waiting on each other like waiting who's going to make the first move kind of energy but your person is ready to defend this and fight for this they have truth and clarity now i feel like they don't want to be single anymore and they want to work on this with you you definitely are hoping and wishing for the soulmate union with them 
but then you have this conflict in between and i feel it's just stubbornness <clears throat> kind of ego energy one waiting for the other to make the first move in this waiting for news from the other waiting yeah that's what, definitely what you have there you have news coming in but then you have seven of pentacles which is about waiting so yeah, waiting waiting on news from the other and no one's making a move thinking the other one's going to make a move i don't know so <clears throat> okay so but we do have a king and a queen here man <clears throat> male or female so i mean we have a couple here all right so let's get advice for you okay, let's take this one the knight of pentacles yeah this is slow moving this is slow moving but it's stable it's secure it's grounded it's long term it's sincere energy movement forward so somebody needs to take movement forward here and it's been very very slow and stagnant between the two of you we got the star again oh my god Aquarius, I cannot make this up. So the King of Swords over here can be Gemini. We have your energy again with the star and the Knight of um, Pentacles is that Taurus energy. So, wow. And now we have the Three of Wands. This is waiting, more waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for wish fulfillment. Waiting for that slow movement forward here. This is your advice. So one more. The advice for Aquarius. The tower. So this is a little bit of a shake up here. I'm not getting bad energy from the tower. I feel like <clears throat> things have been very slow moving. Like nobody's making any moves. One's waiting for the other. You both want this. You're both being stubborn. You're both waiting on each other. To make the first move of hey you know let's go on a date let's go meet for coffee or whatever knowing this is a divinely guided connection between the two of you faith hope and optimism and <clears throat> seeing each other as wish fulfillment but both waiting waiting again so someone needs to shake things up here with the tower by making the first move that's what i'm feeling with the tower this is aries or scorpio a surprise somebody maybe surprise the other one because the tower can also be a surprise aha moment epiphany maybe a little bit of a shake up breakdown kind of energy but it doesn't have to be it can be definitely a change or a shift so i feel like somebody needs to shake things up here because nothing's moving and it's like a snail's pace so if you want to get this moving somebody one of you maybe you aquarius has to shake things up Instead of just sitting there looking and uh, waiting <laughs> for wish fulfillment. All right. So let's see. Let's see what happens if you shake things up, Aquarius, and you send out that news there, the birds. What is the advice for Aquarius? Well, that is the advice possible outcome. So we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Five of Pentacles. So the Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning in love. Love and emotions overflowing, spiritual love, self-love. But then we have the Five of Pentacles of feeling abandoned and left out in the cold kind of energy. So it could be here somebody will just be fed up with, you know, feeling like left out in the cold and abandoned. Nobody's making any moves. Just waiting, waiting, waiting for this brand new beginning in love. So let's get one more as to why the Five of Pentacles is here. Please, Spirit for this possible outcome thank you so much king of pentacles so <clears throat> that can be virgo but it doesn't have to be so again somebody who was very strong and stable and grounded and secure uh usually long-term energy very smart practical analytical kind of energy well grounded so So there is energy here for a very stable, yeah, so, okay, I was going to say, why is the five of pentacles here feeling left out in the cold? So here, somebody has to take control and charge here with the emperor energy, definitely here, to bring these soulmates together. And I felt past life energy, here's the six of cups coming up again, 
for past life soulmates, um, someone you've known for a long time or been with since childhood or something here. You're either past life soulmates or you've been soulmates for this lifetime, like forever, like you've been, or you've known this person forever, but somebody needs to take the lead control and charge with the emperor energy in this situation, male or female, doesn't matter, but this is Aries. So that's the energy I'm feeling that you want. The energy is here to have this brand of beginning in love, but if somebody doesn't take the lead control and charge in this soulmate, heavy soulmate energy and be the stable grounded one and offer something stable and grounded, then you two are just going to remain uh, abandoned and left out in the cold from each other. Nothing will move forward. That's what I'm feeling. Oh boy, Aquarius. Let's see what's on the bottom. Page of Swords. So you could be just watching each other online and not really making any moves towards each other. But this can also be open, honest communication kind of energy. The Lovers. This is Gemini. This is soulmate, heavy soulmate energy here with the Lovers. And the Queen of Wands energy here can be Aries. So fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. Going after what you want. Somebody needs to go after what they want instead of just stressing about it with the Nine of Swords. So now we got a matching couple here with the Queen, King and Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen uh, can be Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. So again... That's that stable, grounded, uh, long-term energy, practical, smart, that kind of that kind of energy. So somebody here definitely needs to shake things up. Otherwise, we're just going to stay stagnant here <clears throat> in this lover's soulmate energy instead of just watching each other online, Aquarius. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> somebody needs to make the first move here. I mean, they could be getting ready to come forward. I mean, this man, man or woman here, your person does have a flower in hand, like getting ready, but somebody needs to make the first move, definitely. All right, Aquarius. I feel like two stubborn people just waiting, waiting, waiting. And if someone doesn't shake things up, the soulmate energy may just be wasted. It's too bad because you have... The star three times in the Nine of Cups. It's four times with wish fulfillment and divinely guided energy. Wow. Okay. <coughs> so let's get some whispers of love for you, Aquarius. And you ask Aquarius, especially if you're new, check out my channel, like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Get about five readings a month. And I'm bringing back the uh, spirit messages readings and the singles readings. So if you would like to get all that, then thank you. All right. So, wow. There it is. All right. Let's get this one. Express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. 19 is 10. 10, again, are about completions. And then one is always a new beginning. So someone has to express love or give a gift or make some sort of motion forward towards, you know, giving, a, like this man wants to give a flower, offer, hey, let's go out, can we meet up or something, you know, showing their interest. So someone needs to show their interest here. All right, so what else for Aquarius? And we have here, the only thing that, is real is love shift your focus from the problem back to love we have seven again for divinely guided spiritual energy so <clears throat> this is real love here that may be wasted all right so one more wow okay <laughs> and take a chance on love well wow, i can't make this up when we start to love our lives are changed forever we have 23 five so there needs to be change here aquarius somebody needs to change and make a move make a move and we have here spend some quality time together it's imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with listening and talking to each other 46 10 again about completions and one's a new beginning and you did have the ace of cups here so needing to spend quality time together taking the chance on love the only thing real is love and expressing how we feel here wow Wow, Aquarius. Okay. 
Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.